everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda aka That Fat Nurse. I don't know why I do that, but I do that all the time. Anyways, I enjoy hats oh, and coffee and cursing. So if those things aren't for you, you should probably just go ahead and leave now. And in today's video, we're going to be unboxing the September edition of No Make No Life, which is a makeup and beauty subscription box service thing from Korea and Japanese brands. So if that interests you, hang tight, because we're about to get into it. like some super like natural just kind of makeup and I'm looking myself at the camera and I'm like oh she's kind of cute like you know like mm, kind of like it I'm also wearing a sweatshirt today which is just fucking stupid because it's 90 something degrees out but right now I'm trying to like will fall into existence by drinking like a bunch of pumpkin latte shit and wearing sweatshirts and leggings and messy buns and things like that so far it's not working it's still 90 something degrees out but a girl's gotta try if you're not already familiar with this box or haven't seen an unbox yet on this channel, this is a 30 something dollar subscription box. It comes directly from Japan, so it takes a little while to get here for your first box. Uh, they say that it comes with free shipping, however, uh, it's 30 something dollars. The shipping's included in it, let's just be honest here. It always has a different theme each month and it always comes in this cutesy cutesy little pink box which I think is adorable. I have already went ahead and opened right here so we're just going to open this sucker up, pull some things out and see what's inside of it. As always it has this little booklet inside of it saying that it is for indeed for September and what the month's theme is which is blossoming beauty. Inside it will give a full description of each item and how they are used and what to do with it which is helpful because like I said these items are either from Korea or Japan and so I don't read kanji in either language so this is helpful. I'm getting pretty good at guessing what a lot of these things are, that and they seem fairly obvious. So we're just going to put the booklet aside for right now, pull some things out, look at them, and keep going through the box. And we'll reference the booklet if I need to. So the first thing in here is the makeup wipes. It is, oh, it looks like it's a lemon scent. I'm not sure. There we go. You know how I feel about makeup wipes, but I do enjoy them sometimes if I'm just wanting like to refresh my face while I'm driving for a long period. So I've given away a lot of the makeup wipes that I've passed had so I might actually hold on to these and see if I enjoy these it looks like it comes with 10 oh it looks like it comes with 32 wipes which is actually pretty awesome so I'll probably save this for right now the next item in here is from Etude House Etude House I actually have several items from and have enjoyed them in the past including um oil makeup face remover which usually works absolutely fucking fantastic doesn't strip my skin i really enjoy this brand as a whole so these are some green tea nose packs which means that it is going to be some nose strips and because it has the green tea in it a lot of times that is in japanese and korean skincare for pore tightening so the idea is that the green tea in it after you go ahead and pull whatever gunk is in there i just threw that somehow whatever gunk is in your nose that then the pores will close because of the green tea the next item in here is a firming and brightening sheet mask with cherry blossoms. I love the way that cherry blossoms smell. I think they're absolutely fantastic. And this is also from Etude House. Awesome. So I love Etude House. Like I said before, I will definitely be using this. And it is a firming and brightening. I will probably have to look and see what the actual ingredients are just because I do have such sensitive skin. But so long as alcohol isn't like in the top of the ingredients, I should be okay for the most part with a lot of face masks. The next thing in here, it looks like it's actually a two-parter. So it looks like there is a mascara and then there is a mascara setting product. Ah. It says that this is the mascara, which is a point type, and then it says that there's their mascara top coat. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and look in our book and see what's going on with these. 
my assumption is is that I use the regular mascara and then I use the top coat for longevity but we're gonna look at the booklet just to be sure so it looks like according to the booklet that the point mascara is specifically for your outer lashes extending those trying to give it as much fan look as possible and then the top coat is to keep it in that same shape and to help prolong that shape that it has so I think that's kind of interesting I don't know if I'll be keeping this or not just because I am so weird about mascaras and my eyes are so sensitive and runny and gooey and ugh, ugh, gooey ugh. so I might be giving this to someone else but this does seem like it would be a really cool thing to have especially for me because I do enjoy that kind of shape where it is more pointed and more fanned on the outside of the eye the next item in here is by glam fox and it says it's a lip glow I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what it is by the way that packaging oh there we go that is gorgeous it's got like the shiny purple and then it's got these flowers on it like that's absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and open this and see what it is inside oh that's pretty too like this beautiful rose gold packaging can't see what it says unless it says glog but I'm pretty sure that's not what it says and oh 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 So then I'm assuming that this is one of those transforming ones that transform according to your body's pH. I'm just going to swipey swipey. Oh, that's pretty. So it'll take it a couple minutes to get to its true form, but I have swiped it on my hand and I don't know if you can see, but it's just a very soft baby pink. That is quite pretty. It also feels very soft. I'm going to go ahead and put this on my lips too, just because now I'm curious. <laughs> Oh, oh, that feels really nice, actually. It's a very light, just like moisturizing kind of feeling, and it's darkened up my lips just a little bit, but it still looks very natural. Like, I, this is great. I am a fan already. I, I'm here for it. This is good. I'm, I'm glad with this one so far. The next item in here is a spring eyelash curler. I don't know why it's a spring. Oh, maybe because there's a spring in it. I was thinking like spring season, but... That version makes more sense. So this is an eyelash curler. I already have uh, several of these, so I might be giving this off to someone else. I think we actually got one similar to this in a different brand box, or I'm not really sure, but I think I already have one similar to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this to someone else. I'm not gonna hold on to this item. The next item in here is the Yeon Rosy Lips. So can we just talk about that though? That is adorable and beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I think that that's something that is lacking a lot of times in especially American products is the little details and packaging of the products that I receive in this box. Okay, that's super cute. So it has a little mirror in it. Bitch, you know our shit don't got that. Don't got that. English is my fifth language, apparently. And I'm just going to, oh, oh, wowza. Okay, that is more intense than I thought it was going to be. And I'm going to just swipey, ooh, oh, wow. Okay, so that is a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. This is definitely an orange red as opposed to a blue red. Uh, but the packaging is super fucking cute and adorable. I believe... Let's look. Yes, so my assumption about this was right according to our little booklet. It says that it is buildable, which ah, you would have to go hell of a light end to make that any less pigmented, but it is something that's supposed to be used for both your lips and cheeks. That's the way a lot of these products are from Korea in particular, I found, is that they're kind of dual purpose, where you can both use it for your lips and your cheeks. By the way, I'm just really loving how comfortable and fantastic that little lip flower thing that we have on right now is also while we had our booklet out i went ahead and looked at our little sheet mask thing and so according to this not only are there 32 in here but according to the booklet it is supposed to not only cleanse your face but it's also going to moisturize it as well so that is kind of handy again especially i feel like for traveling which is would be my purpose for it is just kind of refreshing my skin and pulling a little bit of moisture back in it i don't know about you but if i'm driving flying whatever it seems like my skin just gets so gross and sad so this I'm actually looking forward to using and I can't believe I'm saying that about a face wipe. So let's go back through everything that we got. We got the face wipes, which believe it or not, I'm actually looking forward to using for once. 
We've got the eyelash curler, which is adorable, but I'll be giving to someone else. We have our flower pH lipstick, which I'm already in love with, and thank you. We have our nose strip, which I get nasty, nasty nose pores, so I also appreciate that. The rosy lips, which I'm gonna have to play around with some more and see if I can go a little bit more light handed, because if not, that's a uh, stinking pigmented. And we have the two mascaras. One of these, of course, is the point lash, and the other one is the top coat. I'll probably go ahead and give the point lash to someone else, but I'm kind of thinking about keeping the top coat for myself. So what do we think about this box? I think I've said this before in another video that you don't really get like this extreme value that you would usually get in like a boxy charm or something like that. But I do find that the benefit of this is is that you are trying out products that you probably otherwise would be introduced to. So it's kind of a catch 22. What interests you more? Something like saving a lot of money and getting products that are just, you know, beyond the value that you paid for or trying new things that you would have otherwise never had the opportunity to. I really feel like that's more of a personal preference than anything else. Genuinely speaking, I enjoyed this month's box. I enjoyed this month's box more than I have other boxes. This one seemed very practical to me and very much so things that I could use or things that I can see me giving to someone else. So yeah, I love this box personally. What were your thoughts? Let me know down below. Also, follow me on Twitter. I keep meaning to say that and then I like keep forgetting because I'm old and I forget shit. Also make sure that you have your notification set to on and that you're actually subscribed. I had a couple people message me on Twitter and said that for whatever reason, YouTube had dropped them. So I would just kind of be wary of that. I thought that maybe as a smaller channel, I wouldn't run into that issue, but apparently it exists for me too. So just something to be wary of. That does it for me. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.